everyone, welcome back again with me, Indri, as a lecturer for this subject, History of Economic Thought. For today, we have a three scope for our lesson. The first about the main theory of the development, second about the classical theory, and the last about the structural change for the theory development. Now let's we start talk about the main theory of the development. In this theory, we will discuss about the linear growth theory, structural change theory, dependencies theory, neoclassical theory, and the last about the new theories. For the linear theory growth and the rational theory, the evolution of the development experienced by the country always goes through certain stage that must be paced one by one sequence to reach a higher level. So from this, we will know about how can the country will always grow up the, their country for the next uh, higher level. And the example theory of the classical development theory, it's come from the Adam Smith, David Ricardo, Thomas Robert Malthus, and then John Stuart Mill. I think uh, for the first and the second meeting yeah, with you guys, I ever taught about a lot of the theory for the classical mazhab. And then the last week, we talk about the Karl Marx development theory. You know how can the development theory will theory about the socialism? And then how can the different theory uh, talk about the capitalism? For the Karl Marx development theory, they talk about the modern development theory, and then Rosto, uh, Kuznet, and the last about the Harold Domar theory. Now you see about the new theories about uh, development goals. Yeah, for the country, such as we have the sustainable development goals, we have a uh, seventeen goals. Yeah, for our country, it's about the modern theory. But a long time ago, we know about the new theories uh, in the economic mazhab. It's come from the new growth theory and the new economic geography theory and the last uh, new trade theory. For the new growth theory, how can we learn or maybe explore uh, about the instrumental for the country? And then a uh, new economic graphic, geographic theory is about uh, territorial of the country and for the trade theory is about how can the export and import give an impact uh, for the country. Now let's we move to the Rostow growth theory. There's a uh, five stage for the growth theory. Number one is about the traditional economic. It's about the main sector, like the lot of sector in the countries, uh, so many agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. And then number second is about the present Presentation for the tech of how can the every single sector in the country will move on to the industrial and is it the beginning for the development theory? And the number third about the tech of uh, for the economic and they will be built the manufacturing sector grow rate uh, more higher than the agriculture. And the number four is about the toward maturity. It's about the maturity for the sectoral in the agriculture move to industrial or maybe the manufacturer. And then they do the application of the modern technology. And the last about the highest mass consumption, the use of the demand approach, the general welfare of the social at large. And when we talk about the criticism for this uh, theory, is it about the study was the conduct on the countries in Europe that have an established socio-cultural and then the sectoral of the economy. There are countries that go straight to stage uh, two. So it's about how can uh, some country will build their country, like this is the first step. And then if we, if we will grow out then, and we can have the stage two. And this is about the classical theory. Classical theory, you know, from the Adam Smith or maybe the David Ricardo, there is a five stage two about the growth theory. Number one is hunting period. Number two about the breeding time. Number three about the period of the farming. And number four about the threat. And the last about the industry, capitalism and specialization. And for the specialization, 
we have the ability to the master of the human resource or maybe uh, about the resources yeah, in the country, the ability to save growth, right? like the real sector and then the investment and then capital accumulation. And then this uh, theory have the criticism about the assumption, discrimination of the researchers uh, cannot be counting. Yeah. And then uh, how can we get the impact for the researchers when we want to build our economic growth? Now you see about the classical uh, theory from the Adam Smith. Uh, is it about for the classical mazhab? And then for the classical mazhab, you know about the accumulation uh, capital and then specialization and then how can we hire the productivity and then we can hire uh, the production and then we have uh, a market and finally we can grow up our income. Uh, for the critic, this uh, theory, you know about the divided some class group yeah, for the uh, citizen. And then why we always do saving for the resources or maybe we have the assumption yeah, about the perfect market. And then we can uh, like denial about the rule of the entrepreneur and the last about the stationary condition. Next, we have the technology or maybe the innovation from the David Ricardo. David Ricardo can build the technology for uh, the law of the diminishing return yeah, in this theory. And then uh, how can the capital can increasing uh, about some, yeah, some or maybe... Uh, one of the employment and then the accumulation capital can always grow up like the land and then this is uh, they they have a figure of the technology or maybe the other instrument and then this is about the causes yeah the love of the diminishing and return and how can we build the technology to have a good growth economy and for the david ricardo theory is not about uh, when we talk about the grow up, yeah, grow up, or maybe the growth uh, theory, it's not, it's not about uh, always for the capital because we know about the some policy and then we know about some the resources, yeah. So we have to like take care for the resources and we know about the impact how uh, when we always uh, dig the human resource or maybe the resources that we have. As we talk about the Thomas Robert Malthus theory, is it about uh, the highest yeah, employment, the highest uh, about some worker, yeah, and then how can we uh, learn about the incentive yeah, for the employment? And then Thomas Robert Malthus always said that uh, employee always always higher yeah and then maybe like the when we have like divided two divide one or maybe four divide two like always like that about the growth yeah for the employment so when we have the supply in the employment and sometimes their uh, demand for the company it not always so many so many as much as the our uh, supply for the employee. And so that's why it will give the negative impact for the economic growth if we cannot make uh, some, this, uh, some advantages yeah, for the amount of the employee. And then this is theory about the Karl Marx, you know about the Karl Marx, like the socialism mazab, and it's talk about the technique uh, production how can we do the better technique and then how can we support the uh, transformation of the technology and then if we can support the transformation of the technology so we can get the advantage and as the advantage do the invitation so that's why we can increase our income. And this is our uh, theory for the Karl Marx, like the theory for the development, there is a three stage of the growth for 
the fundalism and the capitalism and the socialism. And for the capitalism, will occur the exploitation yeah, for the worker. Like we have the assumption of the surplus value, like a labor productivity, give the good value for the wage or maybe salaries of the worker, like always homogeneous. Homogeneous uh, for a good thing such as uh, employment, yeah. And then expanding a market. And when we expanding a market, we can give the impact for the lowering uh, price. And so that's why efficiency, like a plus productivity, is about the capital investment. So some capital investment cannot always do a good impact for the employment. Sometimes just for uh, like increasing some income for the company but do not give the good condition for the employment so that's why it's give the effect like the unemployment and then we have the purchasing power society discounts like the class conflict and then how can the rich people and then the poor people they have a divided uh, like uh, divided their class yeah for the social economy and then uh, when we talk again yeah for our focus in the last week, we talk about the neoclassical. Like the neoclassical, they have uh, about a demand, yeah, demand of the goods, and it's a good for the investment capital. So that's why uh, it's for the gain. Yeah, let let's say it's it's for the case uh, company. Yeah. And then when we have a demand for the goods thing, and then uh, we can adding some factor productivity and we, we can grow up for the technology. So that's why always the cost of the productivity will decrease because we have uh, so many things that we always adding the productivity. So when we do the increasing yeah, productivity, so that's why some cost will increase or maybe the sum will decrease. Let's say this is about the decreasing yeah, employment decreasing employment and then decreasing employment so that's why the cost will dis decreasing too and then they hope or maybe the company hope the gain always uh, increase year by year and then we have a scumpeter theory is about the innovation innovation uh, for link to the entrepreneur how can the entrepreneur can help the country can help like in Indonesia we have UMKM SMS and then how can, uh, when the resilient condition, uh, we can give the, the maximization, the function of the SMS, like the UMKM. And then talk again about the classical theory, post keynes is about how can our suffering will help our country to do the full employment, and then we can increasing our economic growth. Now let's we talk about our last scope. Is it about the structural change uh, theory? When we talk about the structural change theory, so you know about the transformation about the structural economy. We know about the agriculture will move on to the industrial sector. So that's why there is a two actor talk about this. Start from the outer Louis and then the second about the charity. Outer Louis said that the Development basically discuss the development process that the occurs between urban and the rural areas. So we just include the urbanization process that occurs between the two places. So that's why migration always happen like that. When we talk about the urban, it's that's an impact for the immigration. Some uh, citizen can move to the other country because they know, they hope they will have a some increasing condition or maybe uh, like the welfare, yeah, more good. And this theory also discuss investment pattern to the occur in the modern sector and also the land determination system that applies in the modern sector, which is in the sector maybe uh, will have a major need like for the agricultural sector and then we move to the industrial sector. So now industrial is the major need sector. Uh, and then when we talk about the Arthur Lewis development theory, is it about the basically discussion, the development process? Yeah. 
And now we move to the starting, yeah, uh, Lewis theory, some the economic country will basically be divided into two uh, groups, namely first about the traditional and then the second about the industrial. So some ask about the explanation or maybe the example that I ever give to you, how can we move or maybe transformation our theory from the traditional to the industrial. And then the January theory is about the meta grouping of the countries according to the process structural change experience based on the level of the income. So January give the divided group like the countries with a per capita income level of less than yeah you remember less than sixteen uh, six six hundred yeah. 600 are grouped into development countries of the often called development theory. Or if you value income per capita, value between uh, 600 until 3,000 are classical as a country in the past development transition. So it's not about the development theory, but will grow up like for the uh, good welfare. And then in the structural uh, change of theory, we have a dependency theory. Like, is a theory explain the cause of the economic backward experienced by developing country? This a theory was coined by the Paul Baran. And then basic about the economic development country and economic developing country. Development, it's mean how can uh, we develop the other country and then the economic uh, about the developing country, how can we... Uh, make some development or maybe in the process development for the country. And in interaction yeah, of that occurs between developed country and developing country are more uh, exploitative than developed country again developing country. Is it about the colonial, yeah? According to Andre Gander Prang and Dos Santos, a dependency process is not only external factor, but also in the internal factor. So, what is the internal factor, such as the colonial, financial, and then last about the industrial technology? And then we move on to the new classical, like the theory uh, for the forward, the T's neoclassical is the supply side theory. This theory emerged a refutation of the dependency theory. Like this theory always remind our privatization uh, of the SUS increasing the role of the planning and determinant economic regulation that the create conductive climate for the increasing role the private sector um, under contraction. So that's why in the development uh, theory from the neoclassic, how can the other country in the processing uh, developing always like the dependent with the other country and there's a country more higher yeah, uh, welfare. And then now we have a new growth theory. In the new growth theory, we can talk about the basically endogenous growth um, theory. So about the endogenous growth theory, there is so many instrumental, like you know, guys, uh, the function of the economic growth is about the F equal key, uh, key LRT about the instrument in the economic growth. Yeah. And then difference between the endogenous growth model and neoclassical model. How can we know the endogenous growth and the neoclassical model? It's come from the maza. It's come from the instrumental that we use to the growth theory. And the new economic geography theory is about one of the most important contribution about the territorial of the theor theory neoclassic and the basic argument uh, of the new economic geography theory. Three reasons yeah, why economics start focus on the economic geography. It start from the NEG weakness because every single uh, country have their opportunity, their uh, have uniqueness yeah, to build their country. And then about the new trading theory, uh, is it about the export and import? How can we make a market as a global? So that's why like we have a rule in NTT and then uh, like we have a multi territorial in the market. Yeah, something like that. Now, 
it's time to our quiz. I hope a lot of my students can understand uh, a lot of the explanation what I mean. If you do not clearly understand, I open the discussion section and then uh, I hope a lot of my students must answer this question in the comment box as your absence. Uh, we know yeah, about three scope uh, discussion for today. We talk about the neoclassical, we talk about the development theory, and last we talk about the structural theory. So, you know, guys, how can you make a different development theory, classic theory, and development structure theory? You know, uh, where is a stage of the different from the tree theory? And then the last, our reference, I think uh, my material from this book, you can download, you can buy yourself. Uh, if you want to detail about my explanation, please read this book. Okay, guys, I think it's enough for the explanation uh, in our topic today. So we have talked about the growth theory uh, from the Rosto, like we have a five stage for the growth yeah, in, in the economic. And then we know about the neoclassical, seems like the last week we did discussion about it. And then the neoclassical, I have... Uh, like a chart and then you can learn about the chart when we do the, our uh, productivity and how can we decrease our productivity or maybe when the productivity will increase how can about the cost of the productivity since like that and last we have the structural you know is about uh, somehow we can do the transformation yeah about the sectoral in economic like now we do from the agriculture we do again from uh, industrial and then the last now in the surface sector okay guys thank you for your attention i hope a lot of my students will answer the question in the comment box see you again in another video bye bye wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh